Hello, today we're trying out another manga effect by warping text and pictures with Clip Studio Paint. Let's start out by making a grid to easily show the distortions we're creating. Now to warp this grid, click Edit, then Transform, then Mesh Transformation. This will give you 16 points to move around and distort to your liking. This will be helpful when you have something that looks flat and you want to contour it to a curved surface. Another distortion technique that is helpful for a curvilinear perspective, a topic I've covered in a previous video, is the fisheye lens. And you can do this by clicking filter, then fisheye lens. And then you can put in a value on distortion. Higher numbers will add more curvilinearity. In my previous video, I just eyeballed the curvilinear grid, but if you want more exact guidelines, this is a really helpful way to establish the grid, where you can also move the center vanishing point. Let's try this fisheye technique on a picture of Makima, a character from Chainsaw Man. So again, click filter, then fisheye lens. Then shift the center vanishing point to your liking. Chainsaw Man includes a lot of establishing panels with fisheye perspective, so I thought it was fitting to try the effect on this panel. That, and I just really love the raw art style of the manga. But I'd love to know what you guys think about the first part of Chainsaw Man and its art style in the comments below. Anyways, not only can you distort pictures, but also text. To do this, you need to first create the text layer, then right click that text layer and rasterize it. That'll allow it to be distorted with the mesh transformation like a regular layer. So again, click edit, then transform, then mesh transformation. And after all of that, I think we've got something pretty wavy. In the previous two videos, I've been working on a high-tech hologram picture, but I want to add text onto surfaces that are not straight edge, but curved. So let's try contouring the text to the curvilinear surfaces with the mesh transformation. So one more time, let's make that text layer. I'm going to put some binary code to match the high-tech background. Then after I like the positioning, I'll rasterize the layer, then distort it to follow the curves of the curvilinear blocks I made with 5 point perspective. You can also use the fisheye lens for this, but the mesh transformation is more detailed and the levers you can pull for distortion. Finally, I'll erase some of the rasterized text to make it blend with the background on what's in front of it. And after that, we're done. I'm going to add a couple more changes to this piece, so if you want to see the final picture, feel free to check out my Instagram. But I hope this series of videos helps expand your toolset in creating dynamic manga and comics. With that, we wrap up our video. If you found this content helpful, please consider leaving a thumbs up below and subscribe if you want to see more content about creating comics and manga. If you want to follow my other social media and work, the links are in the description. Finally, if you have any suggestions for future videos you'd like to see, please feel free to leave a comment below. I'll see you guys next time.